In this lesson, we will learn how to solve exponential equations. All right, so we're solving e equations that have variables for exponents. Please do not have a pencil in your hand. Put it down. Watch me do the problem. And learn how to do it and then go back and do it yourself, please. No pencils. Now, for number one, two, and three, we're simply supposed to evaluate these using the change of base formula. You have to show the setup. So according to the change of base formula, this would be the same as having log 20 over log 5. Okay, and we can just simply put this in the calculator. Fraction mode, log 20 over log 5. All right, so I'll do two decimal places, so 1.86. All right, two decimal places, that's what the nearest hundredth means. So same thing with number two, this would be the same thing as log 3.8 divided by log 1 half. Negative 1.93. All right, number three. This would be the same thing as log 10.10 .10 over log six. One point two nine. All right, just file that skill away uh, because you never know when you're going to need it. So, solving exponential equations. When possible, rewrite the equation using the same base for both expressions. So I'm seeing 25 and 125. So looking at my chart, if I can find 25 and 125 on the same row, then that's the base. So uh, that's 5 squared and 5 to the third power. Okay, so fine. So 25 is 5 squared. Okay and 125 is 5 to the third power. Now this x minus 1 is going to go up here in parentheses and same thing with this 4x. Now that the bases are the same the exponents must be the same. So this tells me that 2 times x minus 1 must equal 3 times 4x. All right? I'm just setting the exponents equal to each other you must do the distributive property here. So that's going to be 2x minus 2 is equal to 12x. Now we need to get these x's together so I would subtract 2x from both sides. Alright, I could have subtracted 12 but that would leave a 0 over here and that confuses people. So that's going to give me negative 2 is equal to 10x. Now am I going to divide by negative 2 or will I divide by 10? I'm going to divide by 10. I'm trying to get x by itself. So I need to divide by the number with the x. Uh, reduce, hello. So this is going to be negative 1 fifth. All right, that's your answer number 4. Uh, number 5. Same type of thing. Let's see if we can get both of these as base 10. So this is already a 10, so I can just leave that alone. Now, 100 is 10 squared, so that means this is 1 over 10 squared, right? 
Um, now here's the part that confuses some kids. 1 over 10 squared is the same thing as 10 to the negative 2 power. Right? Because a negative 2 would drop you down to the denominator. So it's the same thing. Um, but now I've got this 4x minus 5, which I put in parentheses. Now that the bases are the same, I can set the exponents equal to each other. So x minus 3 should equal. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the distributive property here. So that's going to be negative 8x plus 10. Now again, as soon as I see the x's on both sides, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is cancel one of them out. So I would add 8x to both sides. So that'll give me 9x minus 3 equals 10. Okay, next I would add 3 to both sides. So that will give me 9x is equal to 13. All right, last I would divide both sides by 9. So that's why we get that x is 13 over 9. All right, that was number five. Okay, for number six, we need to get this base power thing by itself before we're doing anything else. So subtract three from both sides. So that's gonna give us 10 to the two x power um, is equal to five. Now, uh, if there were a common base that I could do, I would do it, but there is no common base between 10 and 5. When there's no common base, try rewriting in log form. So in log form, uh, start with a base of 10, okay, and I would have log base 10, and uh, then the rest of it will switch sides. So that would be log base 10 of 5 is equal to 2x. Uh, now, of course, we don't really need to write the base 10, so this would just be a log 5 is equal to 2x. And we are trying to get x by itself. So our next move would be to divide both sides by 2. So those are going to cancel out. All right, so uh, that's it. x is equal to log 5 over 2. Now, we're supposed to go ahead and get a decimal, uh, but we can just use the calculator. So, log 5 over 2. All right, 0.35. So, that's it for number 6. All right, how about number seven? All right, once again, we have to get the base power by itself. So let us add 5x to both sides first. So that's going to give us 4 to the x power is equal to 8. Um, now, uh, we can do the common base here. Okay, I could do log form as well. Maybe I should show this one both ways. Um, so I think I will. I'm going to do this one both ways. So first of all, we could do the common base. So 4 can be written as 2 squared. All right, and there's my x. 8 can be written as 2 to the third power. All right, that means uh, if the bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same. So 2x must equal 3. And, you know, dividing by 2 gives us x equals 3 over 2, which is uh, 1.5. Um, now, what if we did it the other way? Let's go back to this. So I have 4x equals 8. If I write this in log form, then that would be log base 4. Okay, you always start with the base. And then these two things have to switch sides. So it would be log base 4 of 8 
is equal to x. Using the change of base formula, I could do log 8 over log 4 to get the answer. Okay, so log 8 over log 4. And there you have it, 3 over 2 uh, either way. Okay, number eight. Once again, uh, you have to get the base and the power by itself before you do anything else. So let's get rid of the four first. So that'll give us negative two times seven to the x minus two power is equal to negative 12. All right, but then we need to get rid of the negative two. So let's divide. So I have 7 to the x minus 2 power equals 6. There is no common base here, so I definitely need to do log form. So this would be log base 7. And these two will switch sides. So log base 7 of 6 is equal to x minus 2. Now before making a decimal out of this, let's go ahead and get x by itself. So let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides. So those cancel out. So what I have then is log base 7 of 6 plus 2. All right. To evaluate this, I'm going to need some uh, change of base formula. So uh, log base 7 of 6, that's log 6 over log 7. OK, so log 6 over log 7. All right, and then plus 2. All right, now this I can put in my calculator. All right, plus 2. All right, you can just type it all in. So that's 2.92. All right, that's it for number eight. How about number nine? All right, number nine, I can do like bases. So I won't have to do log form if I don't want to. So um, six. 36 is 6 squared, all right, and uh, of course 6, I can just leave that as 6. All right, the x minus 9 goes here. All right, now I can set these exponents equal to each other, now that the bases are the same. But I will do a little distributive property. All right, so that'll be 2x minus 18 is equal to x. Now I'm seeing x on both sides, so one of them has to be canceled. I would subtract this one, um, because subtracting the one when it's by itself makes things, uh, it confuses many students, because you'd have a zero and then you don't know what to do. Um, anyway, so that would leave negative 18 is equal to negative one x. Now we don't really need the one, but I might as well leave it for now to help me with the next step. Because to get x by itself, I would divide both sides by this negative 1. All right, that way that they cancel out. And a negative divided by a negative, of course, is a positive. So that's why the final answer here is number 18. All right, number 10. All right, once again, we need to get the base and power part by itself. So we've got to get rid of the 1 and the 1 fourth. Let's start with getting rid of the 1. Subtract. So that's going to give us 1 fourth 
all right, times 4 to the 2x power is equal to 4. Now, to get rid of this 1 fourth, uh, the easiest thing to do is to multiply both sides by 4. All right, that way these 4s will cancel out. So that's going to leave us with 4 to the 2x power is equal to 16. Now, I've got a base 4, and 16 can be written as a base 4. So I can write this as 4 to the 2x power, and then 16 is 4 squared. Once the bases are the same, that means the exponents must be the same. So 2x must equal 2. The only way that's going to happen is if x is equal to 1. All right, that is the answer for number 10. Okay, number 11. All right, once again, before we really get started, we have to get the base and power by itself. So in this case, that means we need to subtract 10 from both sides. Notice that this 10 is positive, so we need to minus. All right, that minus sign is still there, though. So I've got negative, all right, and it's just like having a negative 1 times 8 to the x plus 3 power is equal to negative 9. I mean, no, negative 5. Okay, uh, getting rid of this negative 1 means dividing both sides by negative 1. So that will give me 8 to the x plus 3 power is equal to 5, positive 5. 8 and 5, uh, there's definitely no common base between 8 and 5. So we have no choice but to do log form. Start with a base, so this would be log base 8. All right, the x plus 3 and the 5 are going to change sides. So it's going to be log base 8 of 5 is equal to x plus 3. We'll do the change of base formula on this one. So this would be log 5 over log 8 is equal to x plus 3. Getting x by itself will require us to subtract 3 from both sides. Okay, so then we will have log 5 over log 8 minus 3 is equal to x. Now this can simply be put in the calculator. All right, and just type the entire thing into the calculator. So, negative 2.23. All right, that's it for number 11. How about number 12? All right, once again, we need to get the base and power by itself. Uh, this one is relatively easy because we just divide by 2 on both sides. All right, so that will give me e to the x power is equal to 10. Uh, you can't do a common base between e and 10, so let's definitely go for log form. So let's start with the base. So this would be log base e. All right, and the x and the 10 will change places, which is good because we're getting x by itself right away. Um, now, I don't need the change of base formula because log base e means natural log. So this is really natural log of 10. 
which is easy because in my calculator has a natural log button. So I'll just do natural log of 10. So that's 2.30. All right, and that is how you do number 12. Oh, surprise, that is the end of this video. All right, I hope it was helpful. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.